Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 13 and compare it against the Google Pixel 8a and see which particular phone is a better one for you. Now both these phones are slightly different than one another. The iPhone 13 came out in 2021, the Pixel 8 did come out, you know, just recently. So let's go and see how both of them compare. If you want to pick up either one of these phones though, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these particular phones, the iPhone 13 that came out back in 2021, on the front of this particular phone has a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. And it's a pretty good looking panel as you can see, I mean the viewing angles are pretty good. It's a 60Hz panel, so it's not the best looking panel of all time, but it's a good looking one. I like it a lot. It's a notched design. You have, you know, a little bit of bezel around it, nothing crazy, but it's a good looking panel and I still think in this day and age, it's a very good looking phone. On the Google Pixel 8a, on the other hand, this particular device is giving you a 6.1 inch panel as well. So it's definitely not, you know, a massive improvement from the, you know, iPhone 13. It's basically the same size display. You're getting a little bit of bezel around this. And I will say the Pixel 8a is giving you more bezel on it than something like the iPhone 13. So that is probably one thing to keep in mind. If you're wanting the phone that's going to be giving you a little bit less bezel, the iPhone 13 is the one to, you know, for you to get. But the Pixel 8a is giving you a really nice thing up its sleeve, which is this 120 hertz display. So this in and of itself is another very, very cool thing to have. I love having 120 hertz displays and you're essentially getting that inside of the Pixel 8a, which again, in and of itself is a very, very cool thing going on for these particular phones. Now between both on this side, they're both basically giving you these you know, flat sides, but the Pixel 8a is a little bit more curved. The iPhone 13 is completely flat. SIM card trays in both phones right there. At the very top, Nothing much you know, missing from both. On the bottom side, you're getting a lightning port and a USB Type-C port on the Pixel 8a. So pretty good stuff here to kind of standard what you'd expect on most phones nowadays. On the back side, you're getting a little bit of a difference here as well. So with the Pixel 8a, you're getting a dual camera setup, same thing with the iPhone 13. But on the back side, you're getting some interesting differences. So the Pixel 8a, you're getting this frosted plastic back, which still feels great. You know, don't really have that much to complain about here. The iPhone 13, you're getting the standard glass back. So if you're looking at the back of one of these types of phones, you're wanting the better one. Well, potentially the iPhone 13 might be the one that's more premium feeling, but the Pixel 8a, I will say the frosted glass back or the frosted plastic back feels surprisingly great. It feels much better than I thought. And honestly, if you told me this was frosted glass, I might've bleed you. I think that some people, maybe they could tell the difference, but I felt a lot of frosted plastic, you know, frosted glass backs. And I'm surprised this one felt as good as it did. They both have wireless charging. You do have the max safe capability on the back of the iPhone 13. You are both getting IP certification as well. And for the most part on the outside, that kind of covers it up here. They're both very, very good phones, which I really like. Now, if you're wanting the phone that's going to be lasting a longer amount of time, this is going to be interesting because the iPhone 13, this is one of the first times the iPhone 13 is not going to last as long as another device. So the iPhone 13 will basically not last you as long for the most part as something like the Pixel 8a. The Pixel 8a is going to be lasting for probably a longer amount of time. Google is saying seven years of security and software updates from when the Pixel 8 came out. So it's probably going to be giving you like another six years of software updates, which is pretty crazy in and of itself. So we'll keep an eye on that and kind of see what happens from there. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The Pixel 8a has that Tensor G3 chipset inside of it with eight gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone 13 has that Apple A15 body chip inside of it with four gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's a faster phone between both. Okay. There we go. All the apps are clear in the background. So let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay. Let's go into music, three, two. I don't even have it. Camera, three, two, one. A little bit of glitches on both. Nothing crazy hopping on both. Let's do their Play Store apps for three, two, one. Now I just remember this one. Oh, it is connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, that's great. And you can see from here, the iPhones typically take a longer time to like boot up their app store. So this is going to take a little bit of time. It's nothing super crazy. Scrolling through. See, this one doesn't have Wi-Fi. I'm surprised it even loaded on that one. So let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and open up some of these third-party applications that I have on both. Let's try Stack, three, two, one. So you can see right here, the Pixel 8a did kind of load this one up a little bit faster. The iPhone 13, a little bit slower, nothing super crazy here. Hopping out of these two. Let's try Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. And with this one, the iPhone 13 actually loaded this one up a little bit faster. Getting into the actual game itself, you can see kind of the same thing, not that big of a difference. Hopping out of these two, let's go and try Snapchat, three, two, one. 
Okay, pixelate it kind of faster there, hopping out of this. Temple run two, three, two, one. Now, as I always say, this game isn't super intensive or anything, but it's always a fun little one to test. And there's always lots of cool little things that you can do within this particular game. And the iPhone 13 actually looks to be a little bit faster here, which is pretty crazy. Not really expecting that, but still very, very surprising. So this one did load it up this one faster. The iPhone 13 was faster here. The pixelated a little bit slower, getting into the actual game itself. I don't really think there's going to be that big of a difference as you can kind of tell. And you can see kind of about the same thing, hopping out of both of these. Let's try Subway Surfers, which I do have here somewhere. Three, two, one. And you can see with this one yet again, I think the Pixel 8a probably was the faster one here. The iPhone 13 significantly slower, but nothing crazy. It's, you know, stuff we've seen before. A little bit of a glitch on the iPhone 13. The iPhone 13 is glitching quite a bit, as you can kind of see. I don't know what the problem with this particular phone was, but maybe it's some weird problem going on in the background. Hopping out of this one, let's go and try Genshin Impact. Three, two, one. Now this is a pretty large game, so we'll just wait until it gets into the loading title screen. But you can see from here, from the few apps that I tested, I think both of them are doing a good job. There's nothing super insanely bad with either one of these. But I would probably tell you, if you're wanting the faster phone, it might be with the Pixel 8a. I think the iPhone 13 is a very good, fast phone for everything you'd ever really do on it. But I think the Pixel 8a might be the faster one here for some people. And that might just be the way you'd probably look at it here, as far as I can tell from the performance side. So, I think the faster and smoother phone is probably for something like the Google Pixel 8a over the iPhone 13. Now, in terms of the camera side of things, this is also another interesting thing. So between both, you're getting a dual camera setup on both these devices, a wide and an ultra-wide camera on both, which is a very, very nice thing to have. I love having an ultra-wide camera on both, and it's very nice. 4K 60 on the back of both of them. The Pixel 8a can do 1080p at 60, Whereas on the iPhone 13, you can do 4K at 60 on the front side. So I do think there's a case to be made where something like the iPhone 13 camera could actually be better than the Pixel 8a's camera. Now I will tell you from my experience of using something like the Google Pixel 8a, like I said before, this was a pretty good camera, and it still is a decent camera, 0.5x zoom here, and you're getting 5x zoom on this particular side. So I do think a phone like the iPhone 13 is going to be giving you pretty good experience and pretty good camera capability overall video mode, cinematic mode, slow mode, time lapse, video mode, photo mode, portrait mode, panorama mode as well. So there's still a lot of love and capability behind this particular camera, which is really nice. It's not a perfect camera, but it's still a very, very good device. The Pixel 8a, like I said, it's also a very good camera. I do like the capability behind the iPhone 13 with having 4K at 60 on the front, but this particular camera giving you, you know, 8x zoom on the you know backside and then 0.5x zoom here is still very good. Portrait mode, long exposure mode, you're getting night sight, panorama mode. There's, a, there's some really, really good stuff here to you know, love about this particular phone. And I do think that in and of itself is another really cool thing. So what I'll tell you is at the end of this video, I think both these phones are great. I do think a phone like the Pixel 8a, it does give some really good things that the iPhone 13 may not give you. Like it's going to give you a longer lasting phone. The 120 hertz display is really nice. The whole punch display is very nice too. And I do think this phone is in some ways better than the iPhone 13. I do think the iPhone 13 is a more premium feeling device. I do think so far it's still a very good phone. I haven't really had too many things to complain about here. But I do think the Pixel 8a is a great phone, but I wouldn't even go for the Pixel 8a. I'd rather just buy something like a Google Pixel 8 and get an almost better performing phone in some cases. So that's kind of how both these phones kind of compare. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.